let me know if you see anything that'll catch your eye. All the good indicators. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see today and I earn your subscription. I'm at the Crater of Diamond State Park in this video, we're going to make a trip to the snake pit. Thanks to all my supporters, we reached the uh, goals on a couple videos. We had to reach a certain amount of likes, and thanks to all of you, we reached those goals. So I can't thank you all enough. We're going to go down to the snake pit. That's where I found my half carat diamond in five buckets. Hopefully I can do the exact same thing, but I'm going to get ten buckets, and we're going to go for one carat. All right, I'm going to get my wash tub set up and then we'll head down to the snake pit and start filling up buckets full of material here we go here's my equipment I'm gonna get all this stuff out of my cage and get everything set up I got the wash tub set up, got 12 buckets. I'm gonna take down to the snake pit and fill those up with concentrated material, just like I did when I got that half carat. Maybe this time we'll get a one carat plus, and we're gonna head just straight down yonder. All right, behind me is the snake pit. I'm gonna walk around, see what I can spot that looks good to gather. We'll get the buckets filled up and take them to the wash station, get them cleaned and get that one carrot. Some of you may wonder how did this snake pit get its name and are there snakes down here? Well, at one time here at the Crater of Diamonds, the superintendent came down one day to tell some diggers that they need to be careful because they killed around 30 snakes down here and one of the diggers or a couple of them were digging a hole once and they had a snake in his water pit because back in those days they had to dig a hole and the water would come up from the ground and then you could gather water and they, that guy had a cotton mouth in his water hole and I haven't ever seen a snake down here, but I've seen them near the cages of where we were. But there are snakes at the Crater of Diamonds, and there's also a lot of diamonds have been found. Before I ever found a diamond, or even really was motivated, because I've never seen anybody ever find one. It was 2015, a local digger was here, and he went down to the very end and got 18 buckets and washed them within the day, and he found two diamonds. And I actually found one of those diamonds going back over his centers that he had laid out. He would flip about 15 centers and he had them laying out to dry. And I asked him if I could look at them because I was new to all this. And I looked down and I found a really nice quarter carat soccer ball, perfectly round white diamond. And I told the man and he went and got his magnifying glass so he could see it because he was up in his 60s. And he couldn't believe it that he missed it, but... We were glad that he was able to get that diamond and he was really happy that I found it for him. Either way, he would have probably found it later at home, but you never know. Some, some diamonds just aren't meant to be found by you. So I'm basically at the start of the snake pit and you can see where the water runs through the east drain over to the left. And, you know, your heavies are going to follow and fall into those spots. So 
two of the buckets. I'm just going to walk around and dig up all of this. See all this gra gravel built up here. That'd be a good area to dig. And I'm just going to follow this water, all this gravel here. Get a couple buckets of it and test it out. Just see what the centers will look like compared to, to other spots. Just see all that gravel in there. Uh, about all you can do is gather up material and test it out and see what you get. See this big rock here? That's That would be heavy. It's right here behind it. If I don't step in all of it, that would be really good to, to gather. So I'll get all this and just stuff like that in a couple buckets and we'll wash it separate you see here it comes up look at all of this it's all gravel and the diamonds are hydrophobic you know water cannot penetrate into a diamond kind of like gold you know some gold will float when the water is really murky and muddy from washing the same water for weeks your diamonds could actually start to float and you will lose diamonds the diamonds do not like water. Okay, I'm gonna work this little stretch here. All right, let's get to it. Got my buckets laid out and I noticed that this right here is an inside bend all the way through there where my buckets are and it goes, straightens out right there where we walk down. And you see there's another inside bend up along that way so we'll go up there and get some material after we get most of this you want to scrape down about four or five inches and if the gravel keeps going you want to keep digging that out when you get to the really thick clay down there you really just don't want to get much of that just scrape a little bit because the diamonds get pressed into that clay as you can see right here the start of the of the bend it's just full of gravel so we're gonna get all, all the way where the water goes. A lot of the heavies have went that way. When it was flowing, the diamonds got pushed up on this because they're trying to get out. And all the heavies went up here. All right, now I'm gonna just kind of work where the water flow is moving in this spot. A lot of that kind of thinned out. Maybe it's just lay down there. You almost need a hundred buckets. Anybody wants to donate buckets, there's a uh, address in the uh, description below. I could always use some more buckets. Home Depot, Homer buckets. Oh, there's a nice jasper coming from out of there. That's a good sign. Thing's huge. All right, I got two, four, five buckets filled up in this spot right here. And I really dug down deep because I just kept getting gravel and gravel. And there's still some there. So what I'm going to do is dam that up. Maybe back here also kind of dam that up. Dam it up here. And then it'll slow down the water. You can see now the water is murky. And it's hard to see that gravel we were looking at. But that'll slow the water down and really expose it. Alright, I got one dam built. Starting to go around. Starting to flow over. It won't last long. Got another one built. 
and right here I was digging material out the top stuff and it's full of gravel all this gravel in here so I want to get some of that a couple more buckets in this area and we're gonna move on down to that next bend if I have any buckets left you can see how the water has stopped and exposed all of this here. I shut the water off. Lots of good stuff in there. That'll help me see it. There's a lot of big rocks. Maybe a good idea to scoop all of that behind it. Diamonds get trapped in that spot for sure. The water has broken through the dams as you can see where I was digging I've cleaned out all that got all this these two buckets right here are all of that really long stretch of material that we were looking at and yeah we got two four six eight ten we got two more buckets I'm gonna fill up so I'll head on down and just kind of pick around like I did that same day I get carried away when I see a lot of gravel and if you don't get it it'll be gone so you got to get it while it's there somebody else will come by and get it Working my way around the snake pit area and it's just not really the same as it was in 2016 they kind of changed the course of it it's just really not the same there were lots and lots of washed material up around that cedar tree and they dozed it, pushed it off with the bulldozer all the way down to here. So a lot of that material that has been washed is in here. I came down way almost to the end and all this gravel started to appear. Let me switch cameras. Check out all this gravel just showing up everywhere. It's a good sign. Lots of gravel to get up in this area. A little waterfall. Something that's new is this little waterfall and it's got a pretty deep hole and I was able to get a whole bucket of gravel and concentrated material out of that small waterfall. And like gold, the diamonds are just going to fall coming down out of that water. It's going to drop and just kind of settle in that pool. There could be stuff out here also and I got a little bit of that material as well. Okay, it's time to get these buckets hauled up to the wash station and wash some rocks. People are starting to pour out like ants. Three buckets hauled up. Six buckets.
nine buckets three more to go all right i got all the buckets carried up to my wash station time to take a quick break eat some lunch and get to washing okay time to gear up and get this gravel washed All right, the first two buckets are going to be where the water was running and we'll see what kind of heavies we get in that area. So let's get them washed and get them centered up. Okay, it's time to get bucket number one washed. metal some type we'll throw this over in the wagon throw it in the trash come on hundred carat all right dump it This will be where our three carrots and up will, will show up. So always scan the top screen. Or if you don't want to spend all that time, you can dump it in a bucket. Go through it later. I believe it's full. We'll let the water drain out and I have a new piece of equipment. Thanks to all of you subscribers, I was able to go to Home Depot and buy a large mason tub. It's like 10 bucks, so I appreciate it. And that's gonna allow me to just flip this screen inside that tub instead of scraping like you watch my other videos i would scrape and scrape now i'm just gonna be able to flip it and it's the screen's ready to wash let's see i just did one bucket of concentrate and four minutes five minutes dumped the first bucket out of that inside bend on the edge of the water and as you can see how much more gravel and heavies there are in that stuff look at all of that not bad let me know if you see a diamond now I can just take my screen my bottom screen and flip it into this large mason tub 
I can let everything settle to the bottom and flip it. And there's all my heavies. Not a bad spot. That's where the water was running. All right, here's the second bucket. And as you can see, there's not as many heavies. Not as much gravel. Nothing. A little bit, but just nothing like the first bucket. And this one didn't have near as much material, so it's just kind of all adds up. You need more gravel to add up your heavies. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these buckets washed. Got about three hours and I'll have to pack all this stuff up back in my cage. Okay, I'm on bucket number six. Just made the flip. And it's really good. And this is part of that inside bend. Now let me know if you see a diamond. Wow. Not too bad. Uh, washed bucket number eight and you can see the center all the heavies I'm getting a, a little better at flipping it into the container and as you can see there's a lot of good stuff in there I see spinel barite lots of spinel all right let me know if you see anything Four more to go. We got a, almost a half a bucket of centers. We'll get those centered up with the Saruka. That way we'll really get the heavies in a really tight, concentrated center. You just pick the diamonds right off the top. And I'm on bucket number nine. All the materials in the screen. And I found this really cool looking Jasper. Check this out. Right in here where my thumb is, it's like a, a mica. Got a little gold, or maybe pyrite. Definitely some goldish color streaks going through it right there. Yeah, it just looked really cool all the colors all right i'm down to one bucket from the inside bend in that area that we worked first and then i have two buckets of where the waterfall was at deeper into the snake pit all right just got the last bucket washed from the uh inside bend and as you can see almost every bucket had really good indicators this one has a lot of barite there's a nice piece of barite right there, that bluish rock in the center. See quite a few of that in here. So I'm happy with this spot. Hopefully we'll get that diamond or two. All right, time to get these last two buckets washed and get all this stuff centered up. All right, got one bucket washed where the waterfall was. It's really good. Look at all that. You got a nail. Big old heavy nail. Lots of spinel as well. You never can tell. Okay, I just got the last bucket washed where the waterfall was. And as you can see, all the Jasper. Here's the top screen. All the good ingredients. And so a nice agate, piece of agate. There's some conglomerate. That's a good indicator for your top screen. And I know it's Jasper. And somewhere I've seen an agate. 
oh here it is right there nice and yellow that's a piece of agate all right okay here is the middle classifier you can see all the jasper no big diamond good looking gravel all right time to get that bottom screen worked and start making centers it's three o'clock Okay, here's the first three flips. As I keep making flips, my Saruka bed, which is this part, that's our Saruka bed. It helps keeping your centers from getting worse than that. It's a pretty bad crack in it. I didn't bounce it enough. And we'll be able to flip more centers at a time. I'll get it worked out there and have about a bed long enough to do 10 flips but anyways here are the centers there's one and we pulled most of the heavies out but there could be a diamond in that for sure here's number two and number three Lots of spinel. Nope, don't see any spinel. That's red hematite. All that real small stuff over here, the little, little tiny stuff. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. That was a quarter of a bucket, uh, about half of a bucket right there. Three flips. Well, not even that, the bucket wasn't full, so. All right, here we go. And here are the last two flips from the first bucket. So it was looking good the whole time. Here's the second one. And then on the uh, next bucket, the first flip, got a couple pieces of quartz. Right there, and a big shiny one right there. I'm gonna let that dry. I mean, that could be a, I mean, it's hard to tell. Let me let this all dry a little bit, but this one's for sure is a quartz. But this one here, I need to let it dry. All right. I started on the second bucket yeah so we got two more and then we'll be able to start on the centers and also these centers that I'm gathering from those four buckets of cons I'm on the last bucket of concentrates and the centers are looking a lot better in this stuff Ooh, nice little pile of stuff right there I just kind of messed up on the center. My water tub's not level, so the water is not level and it's making my sarukas uneven. It's best to have a round tub when you're using a round saruka to make centers and it needs to be level. Yeah, I'm pleased with these. If that's what I miss scooping these next buckets are gonna be amazing. You don't wanna miss the centers I'm about to make once we get all this uh, centered up. We'll have two buckets of centers to, uh, and this is the main one right here. That's gonna be really good. It's gonna have some really nice bullseyes. All right, have just a little bit left of the first bucket and these centers are getting better. Check them out. The last one. All the good indicators.
haven't really looked over them yet. Isn't that crazy? Ooh, what's that? Hmm, probably porch. And the first one. I like it. Just a matter of time. If you have centers like this, you'll get a diamond. That's just where the diamonds are, are at. All right, I'm gonna start on this bucket now. We'll add material from here and put it on that one and get these all scooped up into that bucket and get it done. Let's get that diamond. All right, let's take a look at them up close. Here's the first one. Let me know if you see anything that'll catch your eye. So here's the first one. All the good indicators. Just because I don't see my diamond here doesn't mean I won't find one on the tray. This thing right here, just a chunk of quartz. Hate to say it. You could probably get this cut and it'd be a really nice gemstone. These quartz are amazing when you get them cut. All right, let's go over here. Second one. And here is the third. And the last one. that bare right that blue one good indicators really good indicators got about three maybe four more flips to go and that'll be the end of this material from the snake pit as you can see how much more heavy minerals have showed up because I was making centers with my bottom screen flipping it and I was able to get most of the heavies right there here's the first one it's just loaded with all the right ingredients for diamonds Right, here's the second one. Let me know if you see a diamond. Leave a comment. And here is number three. Okay, well now you all know where the snake pit is at at the Crater of Diamond State Park. It's known to produce diamonds. Just because we didn't see one on the center today doesn't mean I don't have one in my bucket and I'll find it at home. I'd like to thank all of my supporters once again. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here doing this. And thank you all. And I'd like to thank all my patrons for the support. Once we reach 12 patrons, I have a really nice package that's going to be given away. You can go to my Patreon profile and see what I have for giveaways. If you're a patron, you'll definitely know if I found a diamond out of this bucket. And any other time, I don't see one in my center. 
we'll go through it at the house and I'll post those diamonds on my Patreon page only. Well, that's it from the Crater Diamond State Park. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care, everybody.